Overpaying for anything sucks, especially socks. So why pay $45 for a single pair of grip socks when you can spend less than half? Pure Grip Socks Pro feature our best materials for optimal fit, moisture wicking, and performance at a fair price. Just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. Over the last 10 years or so, Adidas has put out more Predator remake models than I can possibly even attempt to remember. And to start 2023, they've done it once again. However, this time, it's very different than what they've done in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, the Adidas Predator Precision Plus remake. This technically being the Precision 2 that originally came out 23 years ago in the year 2000. And it looks a lot like other Precision remakes we've seen from Adidas in the past aside from of course the white black and pink coloring there are some key differences though one being the fact that this is not a kangaroo leather upper instead that's been swapped out for capskin and possibly a result of that change the price goes from 350 dollars all the way down to 280 which is still very very expensive but significantly less than it was before but that's not your only option anymore because what i'm holding here in my hands is the adidas predator precision point one remake which unlike the plus model does not feature kangaroo leather or or calf skin but instead swaps out natural leather for hybrid touch synthetic yes the same material we used to see on the predator and f50 series puts rubber elements on the surface rather than having them kind of incorporated into cutouts in the upper and of course features the same sole plate and stud pattern last seen from the predator freak also less expensive once again instead of 280 dollars these are going to run you 250 which effectively means that we now have the option of a modern remake of a football boot that came out 23 years ago as well as an even more modern remake of a football boot that came out 23 years ago this of course begs the question which one's better what are ultimately the key differences and are either of these boots any better or worse than the $350 kangaroo leather remakes of the Precision that Adidas has put out over the last couple of years. I'm going to do my best to answer all of these questions for you, including how both of these boots fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around. And if you are interested in either of these boots for yourself, you can pick them up below their normal retail prices by way of some exclusive SR4U coupon codes by checking out the links down below. And really quickly, if you guys enjoy the in-depth reviews, perhaps want to see a review of the point three version of the predator precision that's also now available drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my reviews of all the latest football boots of 2023 so first things first the leather model which like i mentioned is no longer kangaroo leather like the original precision would have been and like we've seen from past precision remakes but to reflect that possibly there's been a significant price reduction going from 350 to 280 now putting these kind of on par with all the other top end models that are currently available even though it is limited edition making it an easier pill to swallow if you're into the predator remake concept nonetheless that $70 price difference I don't think is a true reflection of the cost of materials if that's what people want to associate it to I really don't think any brand is spending $70 on materials of the upper let alone all the materials of a football boot I just don't think the materials cost is that high nonetheless the quality of the leather is ultimately what matters and having gone back and compared it to past precision remakes in kangaroo leather this admittedly doesn't feel quite as soft out of the box it's a little bit cheaper a little bit firmer and arguably a little bit bulkier on foot but once broken in the leather softens up and the overall experience of a predator precision upper is still on par with past models you have to realize this is a 23 year old design football boots were very different then compared to how they are now and you're kind of opting in with a football boot like this for something that feels very very chunky on your feet so once that leather has softened up whether it's calfskin or kangaroo leather it really doesn't matter i don't think it changes the experience in a positive or negative way in any way at all and honestly i would just rather pay 70 dollars less and get something like this 
rather than $70 more and know that it's kangaroo leather instead of calfskin. In other words, I don't think the quality is quite as good as what we've seen before. However, the price tag does reflect that and ultimately once broken in, I don't think the experience ends up being any different. And then there's the Precision Point 1 remake, which swaps out all natural leather materials for a full synthetic upper construction. This synthetic material specifically being Hybrid Touch, something that used to be a flagship synthetic within the Adidas brand in and around 2014 or so when we actually saw Adidas do Predator remakes for possibly the first time utilizing a very similar concept, hybrid touch, and then rubber elements glued on top. So you notice the construction is very different on this point one remake compared to the plus model in that hybrid touch makes up the entire upper. They still utilize a very similar panel construction method to what was found on the original, which is pretty interesting to take Take very different materials on a design that came out 23 years ago and kind of still construct it in a similar way but you can see they didn't do the cutouts for the rubber elements instead they're just molds that have been glued on top and the grip is much more significant because of this design in that the rubber elements now sit on top of the upper rather than sitting flush where you definitely still get grip from the normal leather version of this football boot but on the synthetic model it's just way more grippy on the ball almost to the extreme of what we saw on something like an adidas predator instinct which i actually quite like and honestly this hybrid touch material I loved it back then I still think it works really nicely on this boot and if anything it makes for a less bulky variation of the Predator Precision when compared to the Leather Plus model that is available alongside these. Granted, it's still a very bulky football boot by today's standards that must be kept in mind but from a touch bulk and grip perspective, it might sound crazy to say, especially given that the Predator series was kind of founded around being kangaroo leather, I actually like the synthetic version of this Precision remake more than I like the leather one. And then there's the weight, where again, it must be remembered, even though both of these boots are using Predator Freak sole plate tooling, the previous generation of modern Predator, the upper design for the most part is 23 years old. However, given the difference in materials used, it makes for a significant weight difference between these two, which we'll see on a scale. Both in the same size, 9.5 US, we'll start off with the leather version, the Precision Plus, and you can see that they weigh in at a very chunky 11.75 ounces, 333 grams. Honestly, one of the heaviest football boots to come out probably in the last 10 years or so. Take these off the scale and we'll throw on the synthetic model and you can see that they weigh in at a much more tolerable by today's standards, 9.45 ounces, the equivalent of 268 grams. In other words, the synthetic model falls into a very similar weight range to that of the modern day Predator Edge, where the Precision Plus in leather well, let's just say it's a little more substantial than you might be used to. A few other notable things that really don't differ that much between the two boots is of course the fold over tongue that is secured by Velcro. It's synthetic on the synthetic model, leather on the leather model, but ultimately very bulky no matter how you look at it. Synthetic leather liner on both the standard Adidas insole and of course the external heel counter which comes from the Adidas Predator Freak tooling that again is found on both the plus and point ones. So here they are on feet, synthetic version on my right foot, leather version on my left foot, and I guess the best two words to describe both versions of this football boot is wide and chunky. If you are not a fan of bulky football boots, then I highly recommend staying away from these. Whether you go for leather or synthetic, there's just a significant amount of bulk to the upper on both of these boots, where I would make the argument that the synthetic one is ever so slightly slimmer all the way through in terms of the thickness of the upper, but overall the touch on the ball is heavily padded. There's tons of protection here if that's something that you're after, but ultimately these are football boots that even though they do utilize a modern sole plate and stud pattern, they still feel very bulky compared to just about anything that's come out over the last 10 to 15 years or so. And not to start the argument of it's the player, not the boots, because I think if you're good, you'll be able to play well in these. And I love the extra grip that you get 
from the el rubber elements, particularly on the synthetic model because it sits on top of the upper rather than kind of sitting flush with the leather like it is on the plus, but it's just so bulky and so much extra material around your foot that it kind of just makes you question why these need to exist at all. I just think that by today's standards, the design is starting to feel a little bit dated. From a width perspective, these are super wide pretty much all the way through, particularly in the heel. I know there's gonna be people that argue with me saying that I'm not supposed to use the top lace hole because David Beckham didn't. And you can definitely get a cooler tongue flop and a better look without using that top lace hole. But because of how much width and how flared out the heel is on both of these football boots, my heel would be sliding everywhere. I really think grip socks, particularly for the heel, are highly recommended for a boot like this unless you just have a really wide heel. But from a width perspective, super wide, suitable for just about anybody. If you had really narrow feet, probably not a great idea. And in terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 US in both of these football boots. And like most Adidas models, they do run true to size. So if you are looking to get a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going for your normal size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So in conclusion, and I'm sure I've said this in past reviews of Predator remake models, I really feel like out of all the boots that Adidas have gone back and remade, the Precision is one that has probably aged the worst in terms of just feeling really bulky on feet. And whether you go for the leather or synthetic model, I don't really think that changes. These are football boots that by today's standards just feel very, very chunky. However, if you're into that, or you're just a diehard fan of the Predator Precision, it's one of your all-time favorite football boots, I think there's a lot to like about both of them. The fact that this is now available at 280 rather than 350 just makes it that much more attainable, despite the leather arguably being that little bit of a step down. Nonetheless, I don't think the experience changes all that much, and the option of a synthetic model that is significantly lighter on feet and ultimately feels that little bit less bulky, I would even even argue is slightly more comfortable it just is a really good option and I'd love to see them take this synthetic concept and work it into some of the other predators that they have remade in the past i.e. a mania with this combination of hybrid touch and rubber elements I think would be phenomenal. In the grand scheme of recent Predator remake releases, I would definitely lean more towards a Mania or an Absolute in terms of actually playing in them. However, if I really wanted a pair of Predator Precisions and had to choose between these two, can't believe I'm saying this, I think the synthetic model is actually the better overall football boot to wear. The leather version is definitely more true to the original, but in terms of modern day playability, the synthetic Precision Point One is definitely the way to go. But then again, if you're not into bulky football boots with tons of extra grip, then I don't think either of these would be a great choice for you.